Hey guys, I thought I would do something a little bit different today. I wanted to do like a playing with Forgotten Loves makeup. I used to do this a lot more often and then the new releases have just taken over my life. So I wanted to kind of dig through my collection and use some makeup that I really love that I just haven't used in a long time. And I thought what I would do is actually go through my collection with you guys. So I don't know, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys think that this is fun or if you would rather me just kind of get into the applying of the makeup. But let's go ahead and start digging into my collection. All right, so let's start with my um, like primer foundation drawer or my first primer and foundation drawer. So, okay, I've been using that a lot. Um, this is new, like I really wanna use stuff I haven't used in a while. These I actually just busted out. Um, those are all kinda new that I just used. Let's go to my second drawer here. And, oh my God, do you see how dirty my drawer is? <laughs> Gross. Um, let's see. You know, I haven't used any of these cushions in a while. Let me do that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use this Sisley cushion. I love this cushion. And I really, I really don't think I've used this in a while. So let's take this out. Uh, I don't think I need a primer for this so long as I have my skincare on and it's fresh. So yeah, let's just use this with no primer. And then let's check out my concealers over here. So you guys know I've been using, I don't even know if it's, yeah, it's on my vanity. So I'm not going to use my, um, my Sisley Stila Lumiere because I've been using that like incessantly, really trying to just finish it up. I don't know what's taking so long. Uh, I just use a clay de Poe. I actually haven't used the La Prairie in a while. You know what? Where is that? I just saw this um, Touche Eclat uh, Radiance Touch, and they came out with one. Oh, here it is. They came out with one that has a little bit higher coverage, and I think I used this in my review for you guys, and really haven't used it since. So let's let's try that. And I really liked it. So yeah, I have to keep in mind we're doing Forgotten Loves Setting Powder. Let's see. Let's see. I wish I could ask you guys. <laughs> I wish this was more of an interactive situation. Um, but I obviously use these a lot. I use this a lot. Um, I feel like I've used the Chanel recently. You know, I haven't used my Clay de Poe in a little while. This was a favorite of mine before I got my Kogendo. So I'm going to pull out the Clay de Poe. I really like that one. Okay, let me put these back. Yeah, that's it for this drawer. It's just powders and stuff, more powders. Let's go to, I guess, bronzers and blushers right, next. I had to pull out my two uh, plastic drawers. Uh, I have two drawers full of bronzers. Um, these are all ones that I've been using a lot lately. I feel like I have to go. These are, this is like the back of the drawers. I don't use these often for you guys because they're limited edition. So we'll just leave that there. I just use these actually. These are limited edition. That was limited edition. Okay, I really wanna use stuff that, you know, if you like it, you can get it. I really hate showcasing stuff you guys can't get. Oh my gosh, you know what? I haven't used this in a while. Okay, this is a contender. That's the Sisley, um, the Fito Touch, Touche, Fito Touche. Uh, Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. This one I love, 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 and I have not used that in a while. Oh, and I do love these too. These are the Chantecaille bronzers. These are so beautiful. This is Capri. This is uh, St. Bart's. I think I liked St. Bart's. You know what? I'll use St. Bart's because I have the Sisley uh, cushion. So let's kind of spread the love a little bit. So I will use the Chantecaille. Okay, and here are my two blush drawers. Uh, these are all the Chanel blushes. I feel like I use those fairly often. So I'm going to skip over those. Um, ooh, Nars. This is new that I actually have to use a little bit more of. These I use often. You know, actually, what I have not used in a, ooh, in a very long time are my Tom Ford blushes. But let me check out this Frantic Pink. This one, I think, yeah, this one's really pretty and it's nice and bright. Okay, I actually have three drawers of highlight and that's not even all of them and I had to kind of situate them uh, this way. Anyway, uh, let's see. Tom Ford, these I've all been using quite a bit. I actually haven't used the Pat McGrath in a while, but those are very, I don't know, to me they're very editorial. This is 
limited edition. This is the new by Terry I just played with. Hmm. I have not used this in a while, but that one you guys can't get. Oh, these Ofras, you know what? I have not used an Ofra highlighter in a long time, and I love them. I think Rodeo Drive is my favorite. So I will use that one. Yeah, which one is this one? Glow Goals, wait a second. Oh, this is the newer one, it's in the different packaging. Hmm. I feel like it's very similar. <laughs> hmm, hold on, let's see. All right, let me try the Glow Goals one. I feel like I probably used this once and then put it away. Yeah, let's use this Ofra Glow Goals. Okay, I have way too much um, eyeshadow to kind of lay out for you guys. So I have quads in here and here. I have a bunch of Vizier in here, a bunch of NARS and like, mm -hmm. ABH palettes and some longer shaped palettes in there. Um, the new Pat McGrath. I have <laughs> these singles. I have a lot of singles in here. I have some larger palettes in here and here, and then some more, more palettes. Um, <laughs> so I couldn't just kind of like lay them. I mean, I could have laid them all out on my floor or something, but let's just um, pick something quickly. Charlotte Tilbury. Maybe I'll do a Charlotte Tilbury eye quad that I just have not used in a really, really long time. Oops, sorry. Okay, let me pull out this drawer. Editing Michelle here. Please don't judge the dustiness of my drawers. If you watched my tidying up my beauty room, is that what it's called? Anyway, it said send help on the thumbnail. You will know that I can't keep that dust off of that plastic. It's like magnet. So please don't judge me, but those drawers are... They're really dirty. Okay, so I just pulled this out. This is Dolce Vita. This is uh, Uptown Girl. And then this one is Golden Goddess. This is actually the very first quad I ever purchased from Charlotte Tilbury. And I do love it, but I feel like I'm more in this mood. Wait, what else did I pull out? Mm, kind of have more of a warmer, neutral look going. Maybe I'll use this. Maybe I'll use um, Golden Goddess, which... Like I said, I have not used in a really long time, and this was the very first quad I ever got from Charlotte Tilbury. So let's use that. Okay, I'm skipping over eyeliner and mascara and all that because that's boring. Um, <laughs> let's just go into, God, this looks terrible. <laughs> this looks really terrible. This is my lipstick drawer. Let's see. Okay, I had to get further um, down onto the ground to kind of get closer to the drawer. And I think I want to use a Gucci one. I have not used these in a very, very long time. So I think, let's see, what have we got here? We have, oh my gosh, this is very hard to read through the camera. Agatha Orange, oh yeah, I love that one. Hold Your Man. Ooh, maybe I'll use that. I can also decide, well, we can always change the direction I go in uh, for lips, kind of depending on the rest of my look. So I'm gonna pull this one out and yeah, and then go from there. If we need to change it, we'll change it. All right, now that we have uh, picked out my, sorry, wow, my, <laughs> my top knot today is very aggressive. Okay, all right, girl, calm down. Let's just ignore her. So let's start with the foundation that I picked, which is the Sicily Cushion over here. So I'm just going to, oh, just gonna squeeze out a little bit. This is the one that has that hole in the middle and you press this button and some foundation comes out. So there, I've prepped my beauty blender. I'm just gonna dip in a little bit. Gosh, I really have not used this in a while. And I love, love, love this foundation. Let's hope I still do. I'm sure I will. So I have this in the shade, did I mention this? I have this in the shade um, Three Light Rose. And I remember when I first got this, I commented about how horrible I thought the shade range was. But you know, I was talking to um, the sales associate at the Sicily counter and she was like, well, this is a brightening product. And she's like, so they didn't think a full shade range made sense. And I was like, okay, I can kind of understand that. And also these are supposed to work with the undertones of your skin versus kind of like just matching like your shade. I'm gonna squeeze out just a little bit more. Kind of go over some of my hyperpigmentation here. 
Oh, I love this product. I feel like this is going to rekindle the use of this cushion, this video. I just, I forgot how much I loved it. It just makes your skin so like flawlessly flawless. It's like flawless, but not in a like full matte coverage kind of way. It's flawless. Like it just perfects your skin. It's so good. All right, next I'm gonna use this um, YSL Touche Clot High Cover Radiant Concealer. So this is their newer of the two. And I only use this maybe once or twice and I liked it, I liked it. I don't know if this was like a love of mine, but I did like it and I thought, why not use it? And I didn't want anything with like super high coverage. Even though they call this one a high cover, it really, it's not, it's not like some of the other concealers that I have. So I just clicked the button a couple of times. Just gonna paint that underneath a little bit on top and blend that in yeah so the coverage is nice and definitely using this beauty blender I'm definitely lightening up the coverage but it really just does a nice job kind of evening out my skin tone there which is great and I have the shade just so you guys have reference 1.5 1.5 in this YSL concealer all right next I'm going to use my clay to Poe loose powder and I, this powder and I were like besties for a while. I want to say like last year and I, I just, I love it. I really, really love it. It has just the slightest, slightest, ooh, slightest like light pinky tinge to it. And so it brightens up my skin. I do know I have some friends here on YouTube. They, they mentioned that it makes their skin look a little ashy and chalky. So really depends on the undertones of your skin. So it works for me. I just need to find a brush to apply it. I'm using my Chikahoto Silver Fox brush. This is the F01. And just dipping a little bit in. And this powder has that Clay de Peau Rose scent. So just be aware of that. Not my favorite, but they like to add that fragrance to all their products. This is such a fine, fine, fine powder. It's so thin and it goes onto your skin like a veil. It's really beautiful. And not that I use the puff, but the puff that comes with this powder has got to be the puffiest puff I've ever come across. It's so big and fluffy, I love it. Okay, and next up is a bronzer I haven't used in a long time. This is the Chantecaille uh, Compact Soleil Bronzer in the shade St. Bart's. I love this bronzer. I love probably everything from Chantecaille, but I really do love this bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, Face Pro Brush from Sonia G. This is the one that has a bit of a pinch there, but it's um, angled. So I'm just gonna go into this bronzer, and this bronzer is a very soft powder. You can probably see the kick up in there. And this has like a, just a really lovely kind of like satin sheen to it. It's not overly shimmery or anything, but it's not matte. It doesn't make my skin look dry. Uh, so I'm just knocking off the excess there and going in. And I feel like this uh, bronzer is uh, definitely, it's neutral, but if anything, it leans a little bit warm on my skin tone. A little bit peachy. Just blends so flawlessly into the skin. Love this bronzer from Chantecaille. It's so good, it's so good. All right, let's move on to the Tom Ford blush in Frantic Pink. This is it's definitely a, a peachy pink. It's not a very like cool toned pink, but it's really nice. It really like brightens up the cheek beautifully. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sonia G Face 2 brush. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product and stamp it on, blend it in. There, there's Frantic Pink. God, I almost forgot how beautifully the Tom Ford blushes blend in. It really just looks so seamless. It really looks like it's coming from within. All right, and next highlighter. Okay, this is a really strong highlighter. This is the Ofra Glow Goals. I think I just swatched this, maybe use this once. I really have not used this a lot, but Ofra highlighters are one of my like all time favorite highlighters because they're so blingy. They're probably one of my brightest, if not brightest, 
highlights in my collection. They're just really, really reflective. So I'm gonna use a light brush. I'm gonna use my Westman Atelier um, powder brush, and this is synthetic hair. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit. <laughs> Ding! It's like instant, instant. Oh my goodness, I think it's just that little tap. I feel like that's that's just, it's so much, it's so much. I'm taking my Refer um, foundation brush and just buffing that in. There, wow. I mean, oh for highlights. If you'd like a bright highlight, none of them will disappoint. They are all this bright. They're all really, really beautiful. Uh, amazing. I'm liking my cheeks today. I really like this combination. Uh, okay, so let's do, well, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera because I'm just gonna use my Tom Ford. I feel like eyebrows, so boring, so boring. So I'll be back to use the Charlotte Tilbury quad. Okay, eyebrows done. Uh, let's move on to eyeshadow. So I pulled out the Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess. This is the very first quad. I ever purchased from her. And this is literally the very first quad that I ever purchased from her. So this is old. This is at least maybe, th what year are we in? Three, three years old? Four years, oh my gosh. This is actually probably four years old. Hopefully it'll perform the way I remember it performing. So I'm just taking my Sonia G Blender Pro brush and I'm going into this shade here. That's her enhanced shade. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner here. Oh yeah, I think it actually blends out really nicely still. Awesome. All right, there's the enhanced shade down. I'm gonna just go into this prime shade and put that on the rest of my lid. And I'm taking a Worker One brush from Sonia G and just placing that all over. Pretty, pretty. And then I'm gonna take this top coat, the pop color, I'm gonna use my finger and just kind of tap that onto the center of my lid here. This pop color is definitely much more subdued than a lot of the other ones I've experienced that really seem like glittery and foily. It's just a little bit more sparkly than the others, but all three of the other shades in this are satin, so it's not, it's not that much of a difference there, not that much of a contrast, but it is very pretty. It's very, very subtle. And then I'm gonna take this smoke shade and I'm just gonna kind of smoke out my lash line with it. Taking my uh, Sony G Pencil One brush, going into that color and dragging it along my lower lash line and my upper lash line. All right, so there is the eyeshadow quad applied. I really like this. I really, really forgot about this one. This one is such a good one, such a good one. I wish Charlotte Tilbury would go back to making like shades like this. I feel like she's really gone down that pillow talk path and she hasn't come back yet. So I hope she starts to do like more like, I don't know, browns and just really kind of like those rich colors that she used to do a lot more of. Anyway, just a little side commentary. Let me do my mascara. Um, I'll do that off camera. I'm just gonna use the mascara that I've been using, uh, which is the Tom Ford Lash Rays Mascara. Um, and then I'll be back to put on the lipstick. All right, and as for lips, I took out that Hold Your Man uh, Gucci lipstick, and this is in their Sheer formula. So I took out uh, definitely a forgotten love lip liner. I think it should work. This is the Chanel Natural Lip Liner. Um, it's color number 34. And this was actually probably one of the very first Chanel products I ever purchased back when I was in college. Had never ever repurchased it until fairly recently I just got this. So I'm excited to be reconnected with you, Chanel. This is very nice. Yep, that is definitely very, very natural. Uh, let's go ahead and put on the Gucci. I thought we could maybe use the opportunity and add a little bit of gloss on top. And so I was just digging in my gloss drawer and I, I forgot about these and I purchased these this past winter and it's winter again. And yeah, these need to come back out, but these are the Hourglass number 28 tinted lip oils. And this is in color Cameo. 
And these are the ones that you like press down and the oil comes out here. So I'm going to do that. A little bit came out and I'm just going to pat that on top. It's like a pinky natural color. So it's actually a very good uh, match for what I have on my lips. Oh, nice. Nice combo. I forgot how much I love these. Ugh, I got to take these out and use them. Really, really lovely formula. And they have, well, the original one is clear and then they came out with, I think like six tinted ones. So I have that one and then I have the hourglass red color. Of course, I can't remember the name. So that is it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please let me know if you like that kind of going through my collection and picking out my makeup with me. I wish it was more interactive, um, but watching me pick out my makeup. Um, and if you enjoyed that, please let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.